so glad to be here today. I've been so excited for this day. This is our big theme for reveal. Our fifth grade kiddos, students, and teachers have been working really hard to select one word that they want to be able to encompass and to show and to teach you guys about this year. And they've chosen a really, really important word. So we'll be sharing that with you today. And I know you've been getting hints in your rooms and the little bags under doors. And you may have a few guesses, so today you're going to see if you're right. I want to thank a few people before we begin. First, I want to thank our co-teachers. Take away. Co-teachers started this process with a leadership retreat. They gave up their time during a very, very busy part of the beginning of the year. So thank you, co-teachers. Also, our fifth grade team took over. And they've been helping put everything together, including all the details. And then, of course, our fifth grade students. Who have taken this process very seriously, and I look forward to what they have to share with you today. So you're going to see some students perform, some students were more behind the scenes, and some students were working on a video that I'll show you. We'll show you. All right, without further ado, we present to you the 2023 theme work. Someone's has a sore throat. 
strep is going around. Wait, is she choking? I think this is serious. What's up, Ariel? Oh no, I know what's happening here. Ursula, right? You trade your voice for something with the octopus. But wait, she's not walking around in those. What do you call them? Oh, feet. You're trying to live, live out of these waters? I know, I know. Bright young woman, sick of swimming, ready to stand. Heard that before. But Ursula's involved, right? And she has your voice. And she stole it. I see what's going on here. You put your voice down and left it somewhere. Again. Probably by the recycling bin. <laughs> or on a whale. And Ursula found it. Ariel, you can't do that. Letting your voice all wandering free while you're exploring the shore above. You have to take care of your things, especially and most importantly, your voice. Don't you remember what happened before? So, I guess we have to help you recover your voice due to your careless behavior. Well, what are we waiting for? To Earth's Lair. Watch out for eels, everyone. So the fish and Ariel head to Earth's Lair. Those poor, unfortunate souls trying to find Ariel's which voice, which she lost. How could she be this careless? But it sounds like Ariel's been making lots of poor decisions lately. I heard she didn't turn in her homework. Yeah, rumor has it she is never on time for her classes. Yep, she told me we'd go to the Barbie movie together, but she didn't show up. And she never brings her supplies to class. I cannot tell you how many times I've let her borrow a pencil. Jeez, well, it looks like the fish and Ariel just arrived at her since there. Let's see what happens. We're here. It's dark. I can't see anything. Hello? Oh, wait. Here's Ariel's voice, but it's locked up in this cage. How do we get it out? May I help you? pay your shell phone bill. These are <laughs> and our friend over here is tired of loaning me pencils. These are not good decisions, Ariel, and ultimately these decisions will lead to unfortunate situations. Poor thing. Fish. To get Ariel's voice back, you must chant an important word three times which will break the spell and unlock the cage. These, this word is what Ariel needs to show, which will improve her life. Figuring out this word will unleash Ariel's voice back to her and will represent her commitment to being a better version of herself. You only have one shot to get it right. Go, discuss. And if, you, if, you, if you're wrong, then I guess we'll just have to keep her voice all locked away for safekeeping. Respect? Accountability? No, that was last year's word. I know this word is so easy. Ready? One, two, three. Responsibility! 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 Yeah! Way to go! Take that, Aquaman! Pow! Pow! Responsibility means doing the things I'm supposed to do and making good decisions. Yep, no more losing my voice or being late, and I'll make sure to not forget my homework. 
and I'll make sure to bring my own pencil. Thank you. I'm a new and improved responsible roommate.